Hi guys, today we are bringing you an updated guide on our Razor level 80. What are we doing special and what secrets are we using to build our Razor to reach these insane crits? Let's dive in. Before we do, did you know that only 10% of you guys are actually subscribed to our channel? If you enjoy the content, please consider joining our little family. We're going to be very grateful. This would mean so much to us. Like seriously. Here are some of the aspects that will heavily impact how much damage you can deal. Every little detail will matter, believe me. Whether it's your character team, the rotation you use, the elemental synergies, and how you use the elemental reactions, the weapon enhancement and refinement that your team is using, your team's artifact sets, their base stats, their substats, the level of your character talents, their unlock constellations, the food buffs that you decide to use, and your overall understanding on how everything works together is going to have a huge impact. We are currently using a 5 star claymore called the Wolf's Gravestone. This claymore comes from the weapon banner and the Diluc banner and will also be featured in, in the next weapon banner coming up in a few days. The weapon is currently enhanced to level 80 and refined to level 2. At this refinement level, it's also providing a 25% passive attack percentage and also there is a special proc effect when attacking enemies under 30% hit points, further increasing our attack by 50% for 12 seconds. For the artifacts, we are using 4-piece of Gladiator. The 2-piece effect is increasing our attack by 18%, while the 4-piece set increase our basic attacks by 35%, making our bread and butter, our basic attacks, extremely powerful. We do our best to prioritize artifacts that offer offensive stats and substats, whether it's attack percentage, physical damage, crit rate, crit damage, or simply just flat attack. You could also run electro percent damage increase. Also, do remember that when you're upgrading artifacts, there will be stats increase on the substats every four levels. This means that when your artifact is going to reach level 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, you're going to receive an upgrade on either current stats or new stats. All of the talents on our Razor have been increased to level 6, granting us high damage increase on all of our attacks. At talent level 6, the leveling drastically slows down because you will need specific weekly bosses material to continue leveling up until eventually you will reach level 15. At that point in the game, your character is going to become extremely powerful. We currently only have two constellations on Razors. Can you imagine the damage we would be dealing if we had all six of them? Constellations play a major role in the overall strength of your characters. So the more you have, the better you'll do. Here are some of the other game mechanics that we use to reach that 4000 attack stats on our Razor. We had Shengling, Zguoba Peppers that grant 10% attack for 10 seconds. We use Bennett's ultimate, Fantastic Voyage, granting a 56% attack bonus based on his base attack for 12 seconds. Our Barbara is using a 3 star weapon called the Trilling Tales of the Dragon Slayer, granting 48% attack after swapping character for 10 seconds. The Delicious Adeptus Temptations, 5 star food, also help increase our attack by 372 and provided 12% crit chance for 300 seconds. And finally, the shocking essential oil, increasing electro damage by 25% for 300 seconds. What would you guys like to see next? I hope that everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider pressing the like button, subscribing, and enabling the notification bell. Our Discord invite link is also going to be found in the description box. Thank you guys.